Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I'm on a journey to becoming more fit and more healthier and it is springtime. It is like officially springtime. It's like 60, 70 degree weather. The uh, dandelions are out, which means it is that time of year to make our vegan dandelion honey. So if you missed last year's, I made a tiny bit of dandelion honey and I tried it and I loved it. It was good to put in mosquito. It's also that time of season. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, really put that down. Take my dog out for a walk. Uh, but I tried it and it was good. I liked it um, on some things. Like I'm not a huge honey fan, but I did like using it and I'm almost out and I'm like, now I'm going to try and make a full jar. Don't know if we have enough dandelions for that, but I'm going to show you how I make it. Um, I changed up the recipe um, from all the things I saw. So yeah, and I'm going to take you along with me. My first step is to pick dandelions. So let's go do that. All right, we've got this much so far. Definitely going to try and fill this bowl up. And then I need to um, get all the yellow out of it. Now that they are all picked, I got to get all the yellow out and throw it in this bowl. Measure how much I have. And then after we get done getting all this yellow out, I still have a long ways to go, um, we are going to put this with, I think, equal parts water or almost equal parts. Like if this is four cups, it would do like two cups of water or something like that. No, I meant, man, I gotta look it up now. <laughs> but, and then I'm going to cut some slices of lemon and we're going to boil it. After I boil it, I'm gonna strain all these out, then those can go in the garbage. And then I'm going to boil in some apples. And once those are done, then I'm going to remove the apples and um, then add the sugar. We have four cups. And then we're going to do three cups of water.
not sure if this is going to be able to get heard, but this tree, beautiful. All of those flowers get filled with bees, so I like to stand underneath it, see if you can hear it. Okay, so right here, this part's gonna actually be really, really important because with glass, hot and cold will break the glass. So I put a teeny tiny, teeny tiny bit in there and I'm going to like move it around the edges to warm up the glass like quite a bit so that my glass will not break as I pour it in there. Once the glass feels quite warm or hot, then you can fill it up, even if you gotta do it a little bit at a time. That is like very 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 important if you pour something hot in a cold glass it will break hey guys it's actually been a few days later I kind of uh forgot to show you guys but here's my honey it was done overnight <laughs> no more here's my honey it was done overnight I, oh, please stop it was uh oh there we go I'll show you the thickness that my mom tasted it and she said it tasted like honey that was like dipped in apples <laughs> or like apple dipped in honey or whatever. Kind of like an apple butter honey. There's the pigments. It's so good to me. But yeah, 10 out of 10, recommend. Mine's a little sour because I love lemon, so I have more of a lemon taste in it too. But yeah. If you want less lemon, just put less in there. It's kind of just for flavor. But I love it. And I hope you guys try it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys. Oh. And just want to let you know. Wait, stop. Stop. I just thought I'd add this. Hold on. Okay, just want to let you know if like you're like if you follow a recipe or whatever and you put the sugar in and, and it's boiling and stuff like that and you stir it and it, and it's gonna say like it's gonna be runny so when you put it in your container and the next morning if it's still runny it's, all you really need to do is just keep adding sugar and then for testing it put a little bit in the jar and put it in the fridge or the freezer for a little bit for it to cool down and if it comes out it's still a little bit liquidy just add more sugar. Just keep adding sugar until it's at the consist consistency that you want it to be at. But it's going to be a little bit more runny when it's hot and stuff like that. So you just put a little bit in your jar and you stick it in the fridge and let it cool 
and take it out and if it's thick how you like it then it's good if you if it's too thin add more sugar 